The head of the National Assembly called for efforts to speed up talks in amending Korea's constitution. For the first time this year, a special parliamentary committee convened to hash out the details of the revision process. Cha Sang Mi has the latest from the domestic political arena. Hurry up and reach a consensus. That's what the Assembly Speaker Chung Se Gyun urged the special parliamentary committee to do during a press conference on Monday so that they can submit a motion for an agreed constitutional revision by the mid March deadline, in time for a referendum along with the local elections in June. He reminded rival parties to speed up the discussions on the matter before the government takes over the revision process, as President Moon Jae in had warned them it would do in his New Year press conference last week. Recollecting that this year marks the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the Constitution, the Speaker reiterated that the constitutional revision is the biggest task for the 20th National Assembly and that it should be the Assembly to retool the basic law. He also highlighted the Assembly's efforts to include voices from all walks of life while preparing the amendment over the past year. And to reach political consensus, the Assembly's special committee on the issue held its first meeting the same day with each party filling leadership positions within the committee and exchanging greetings. Yet the meeting saw the parties clash both over the content of the constitutional amendments and the timing. While the ruling Democratic Party seeks to hold a referendum on constitutional revision in tandem with the upcoming elections, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party is taking a very different standpoint. The Liberty Korea Party criticized President Moon for laying down the direction and timing of the revision and argued that holding the referendum at the same time as the local elections could politicize the issue. The center-left People's Party argued that President Moon's address last week should not be seen as a set of fixed guidelines and also called on the Liberty Korea Party to take a more active role in the process. The ruling party only holds 121 of the parliament's 299 seats, so we'll need to cooperate with the other parties as the bill needs support from two-thirds of the legislators in order to be put up for a referendum. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.